So to start off, when I get an assignment, I usually divide my period of time in three. So I start with baby steps to work on the assignment. On the second period of time, I go a little, you know, faster. And when it's the time when I'm finishing, I go with more complicated steps and bigger filling of the assignment. We all remember when we were quarantined, right? Bad times, right? And um, then I got the assignment. It was an essay, history essay. And it was due in um, three weeks. And um, this history essay uh, involved four lessons, okay? Four lessons, and I divided the time in three. Start, and I thought I'm gonna start with baby steps. Go a little more complicated, and in the end, go a little faster. The first week, um, I didn't really do any work. Second week also went by, no work done for me. Then I was left with this. And then this turned into this. To translate it in the form of minutes or hours, I had 24 hours left to make an essay during three weeks. That was pretty bad. I pulled an all-nighter in a sleep all night. And I made the essay, wrote it, and in the morning sent it to my teacher. A few days later, I get a message, and it said, Is this Andrea? Yes. I'm your history teacher, I read your essay. I just wanted to say it's the best I've ever heard. Just kidding, it didn't really happen. It was the worst essay anyone could ever write, all right? And I still have the copy of the essay, and I'm telling you, it was terrible. What I wanted to get from this presentation is that if you procrastinate, nothing will be done. But what exactly is procrastination? Procrastination is the act of delaying or postponing a task or a set of tasks. Now, here we're different ages. I have teachers, hello teacher. I have ninth graders. Uh, we have sixth and seventh graders. I'm an eighth grader, so we all come from different ages. We're born and raised in different families, but we all come here with a little bit of guilt. Now, I scanned some brains. Mm -hmm. I scanned the brain of a non-procrastinator and the brain of a procrastinator. Could I get the brain of a procrastinator? This is a non-procrastination brain. No. No. Now, Ladies and gentlemen, this is a procrastinator's brain. You might think it's nothing serious, but let's see what this monkey got to do. Yep, one more. And one more. Mm -hmm. Now, like every other animal, this little monkey also has an enemy that are deadlines. But he also has a friend. No deadlines. Let's, let me just explain it to you in some simpler words. I'm 13 years old, I turned 14 on April 17th, and my dream has always been to follow acting classes, and I'm thinking of doing one. Now, it's the time when I sign up for the class, the acting class. Sit down, I bring my computer, and look what happened. I was writing the Zoom call because we do what we know Zoom classes, I was just writing it when boom, this monkey came by, and I found myself doing literally weird stuff. No. I, <laughs> I found myself wandering in my room, reading books, not, you might say, what books? Books I read when I was three years old. This little thing made me do it, all right? Do really things that don't make sense. But like every other animal, it also has a fourth enemy. Please. The panic monster. Now, what does the panic monster do? One more. He starts yelling. And one more. This happens. The panic monster destroys the monkey. Why did I choose to show you with the panic monster and the monkey? So you all could have little sophisticated thing of what it's like to be the procrastinator. But the 
when a monster shows up on their deadlines. But we don't always have deadlines. What do we do to fix, procra to fix procrastination? One more. I represent you the life calendar. It's a calendar of 90 years of life, and every box means one week. Now, imagine we've ticked some of those boxes, right? Because you know, weeks have spent, weeks have gone by. Um, but what actually happened is that we're letting this little monkey get over our lives and tick the, uh, the boxes by itself. We need to make a difference. We need to make a change. We all need to change. There is when this lesson comes by. Non-procrastinators do not insist. All of us in here, all of us are procrastinators. Yes, the teachers also. The ninth graders, the eighth graders, six, and everyone, hi. <laughs> all of us, and even the parents watching the video, if the video ever get posted, are procrastinators. Now, how can we fix this? Do you really want to let a monkey like take your boxes? I don't know. I do not. We need to make a change, starting now. Well, not now, maybe Monday. No, I'm busy Monday. Um, let's start, what do you say? Let's say March. Yeah, March, March, it's a, it's a good start. 